Our heart is to equip you to live a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle. And part of that, if you're going to live in a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle, you're going to have to learn how to overcome chronic frustrations. Ooh, that struck a nerve. (laughs) Amen. Oh, my goodness. I see some new faces. I don't know how you found us, but I have something, some kind of feeling as you heard that we were talking about frustration today. And you said, yeah, uh, I think I need to get over there today. Amen. And so frustration, I mean, that's a real issue. I was sitting in the tea shop just chilling, trying to chill. Just low key, you know, just taking a break. What's that kind of tea I get? It's so good. I'm just sipping my tea, you know having a nice time and all of a sudden these these two girls behind me they're talking they're trashing they're trashing one of their co-workers they're real estate agents and they're trashing one of their co-workers then she gets on the phone and starts talking obnoxiously loud very loud and she's talking about i'm not lying to you i mean she's screaming to the phone i'm like get out of here and go outside i'm like that's so frustrating i'm trying to chill and here you are making all this noise behind me i thought prophet vanessa was going to cast the devil out of her but thank (laughs) thank god she went ahead and shut up (laughs) and then what was it a couple weeks remember i told you i was trying to do a facebook live at nine o'clock in the morning on a sunday before i came to church i had an important message i needed to share and as soon as i got on my neighbor is like drilling with some he's an engineer he's building some kind of star wars escape system in his house everything's shaking everything's rumbling i'm like what is going on here i had to cut the facebook somebody say frustrating Frustrating. amen and then if that weren't enough i hire these people to do these jobs i hope they're not watching i love you guys out there all my technologists and all i hire them to do jobs I make it point by point, very clear. Here's a deadline. They send it in two weeks late and it's wrong. And they still want to get paid. Somebody said frustrating. Frustrating. Oh, Jesus. And it goes on and on and on. I had to take off work to get the AC guy to come because my AC wasn't blowing cold air. How many know it's hotter than 19 hells in Florida? (laughs) We're headed into summer. I'm not taking a chance. So I have to get through my condo association two weeks pre-approval to have the AC guy up on the roof to put in the Freon. So I jumped through all those soups. I said, okay, okay. The guy comes over. He's like, yeah, this air conditioner is not working. I said, "Uh, yes, I I realize that. Praise the Lord. That's why I called you. He said, well, how do I get to the roof? I said, it's right down there and over there. He comes and he is is locked. I said, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Somebody say frustrating. frustrating. All these things happen. This is part of life, yes? It is part of life. Now, I have a confession to make, as you probably already discerned because you're such discerning people. Frustration is one of my kryptonites. <laughs> now, if you never heard of Superman, you live under a rock somewhere because Superman is for every generation. Superman had kryptonite. You know, he just lost all his power when the kryptonite came. The enemy just tries to frustrate me to death. He really does. All the little nitpicky things all the time. And so I have had to learn how not to allow myself to get that frustrated, right? So when I sense the frustration coming, I might feel it for a minute, but I've had to learn how to ward it off, you know, Uh, like, 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 because I don't want to lose my power. You can't walk around in the power of God using the name of Jesus and act at all frustrated and out of sorts. That's bad fruit, right? So if I'm not careful, you know, little things can frustrate me. And here's the thing. Here's what I've learned. Here's what I've learned. Somebody say, here's what she's learned. <laughs> the devil wants to keep us in a constant state of frustration so that... He can distract us from what we really want in life. It's a distractionary tactic. It's a diversionary tactic. That's what it is. It's a frustration. And frustration is an enemy of your faith. Frustration is an enemy of your faith. And so, you know, look, look, y'all were laughing at my examples. And I know that's because you can relate right? You understand devil tries to frustrate you too. As a matter of fact, the devil knows how to push your buttons because he's been watching you and he knows what annoys you. You ever, you have a, if you have a spouse, your spouse knows how to push your buttons, don't they? 
Yabashe kete rabasha. Karaboshe. Who said that? The visitor. So we can't even do marriage counseling or anything because <laughs> they'll go back to the show me state and amen. He said amen, amen. Oh, Jesus. So you can relate, you know, your kids. Oh, my God. I think they're the best button pushers, right? Your best friend, you can push their buttons, right? I just love to push Prof. Vanessa's buttons. Except she doesn't have any, so, you know, she's buttonless. I've never met a buttonless person in my life. Maybe I just need to look harder. What do you think? What do you think? And when I find out what it is, I'll tell you, all right? We can all push your button. She's just so calm and steady and stable and just never gets flustered. I'm like, you know what? Lay hands on me, please. I need some help. I need some help, you know? So the devil knows how to push your buttons. People know how to push your buttons. And frustration is all around us. There's a survey. There's this, um, like we have AT&T here in T-Mobile, Sprint, whatever we have. Now that all the mergers have happened. Uh, there's an, uh, uh, one called O2 in Britain. It's called, that's their provider. It's called O2. And they did a survey on the top frustrations in life. And I thought, this is going to be interesting. I, I like to see this. I thought it would be like, you know, I don't know, like something really significant that would make me feel better about myself. And they said that the, the, the biggest frustration of all the people in England that they surveyed was not having adequate Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Intermittent Wi-Fi. I said, you've got to be kidding me. If that's the worst problem I had, man, I'd be really happy. Amen. If that was the worst thing the devil could throw at me, I'd be like, <laughs> All right, I'll just plug into the Ethernet. No worries, right? Now, in, now, internet, no internet can be frustrating. I get that. But you know what? Seriously, if that was my biggest problem in life, my God. But you know what else is frustrating? Let's just stay here for a minute. I, I just want to, I want to just, just, I'm just poking. I'm just poking. When, when, when people, when people, are listening to music so loud in their headphones. I got you. I got her. Okay. Well, that you can hear it. And they listen to some demonic stuff. I'm like, and the worst is in an airplane. If I'm in an airplane and God forbid I don't put my tray table up fast enough, they come and rebuke me. But homeboy over here is da da dum da da dum da da dum da da dum. I'm like, make him turn that off. It's it's jacking up my atmosphere. Frustrating. Hmm. How about I'm looking to get all of you. How about <laughs> how about those people that you know the ten items are less lane at Winn Dixie? <laughs> I got all y'all on this one. Message over, slam dunk. And you got, you had to run up to the store for one ingredient for dinner, right? Or you're on your way home, right? And you just needed one thing. You ran in and here's this person. They got 25 items. You got one thing. Get out of the, get, 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 frustrating, right? And what's worse is if you have 11 items, they send you to the other line. Amen. Because the devil knows how to push your buttons. It is unfair. It's unjust. How about this one? People, you're tr they won't let you get off the elevator before they get on the elevator. You ever had that happen? I live in a building with an elevator. Would you just let me get out, please? Seriously? Really? Move. Muebate. And Ivy always corrects my Spanish. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. She's teaching me. Amen. She can translate for me. Or how about this one? When people leave their phone on in church. <laughs> Homeboy back there from Missouri is just throwing his wife under the bus. He's pointing at her. It's her. It's her. Jesus. So the problem is, and, and those are relatively minor frustrations. I'm trying to prove a point here. Because what happens is the, these, these, these are relatively minor things that happen throughout the day, but then they build up and build up and build up. It's like, you know, I was trying to carry packages up uh, 
into my house. And I don't like to go, I don't like to get the grocery cart from down in the garage. Why? Because then I got to bring it back down. <laughs> I ain't got no time for that. You know, I'm hungry. I want to eat. So we went to Whole Foods yesterday. Every time I say Whole Foods, the anointing is sucked out of the atmosphere. I was just testing it. We went to Whole Foods yesterday and I got, you know, three jugs of water and I got, you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I can only hold so much before I'm going to drop something. And it's the same way with frustration. You can only hold so much frustration before you begin to just drop it on somebody else. You come home from work, you're in a bad mood, and now you got frustration at home. Oh, Jesus. 